hear the egalitarian clarion call everywhere. Everything should be equal. Everything should be equally distributed. We should strive for equity. It's like wrong, especially if you're a conservative. Wrong. What we want are just hierarchies of competence. Not everyone's a neurosurgeon. You know, if your father has a brain tumor, you probably want a hierarchy of competence for neurosurgeons so you can pick the one that's the best so that he might not die. That's what a hierarchy of competence is for. For the postmodernists, there's no hierarchy that isn't based on power. Well, because they think the world runs on power. And that's why they're willing to use power to get what they want, because it's the only thing they believe in. But a valid hierarchy of competence is, God, we need those things, man. We need the best plumbers. We need the best contractors. We need the best, we need, we need the best carpenters. We need the best lecturers. There has to be a, a hierarchy of quality and not only so that we know who the best are and to reward them properly, but so that we can reward them so they keep being the best. It's like, you know, if, if you have a great educator, if you have a great leader, if you, if you have a great thinker, you want to reward them so they keep thinking and they keep educating so they can tell you something. It's not a reward for their intrinsic being. It's a calculated move on your part to suck everything out of them that's valuable as fast as you can. That's what a hierarchy of competence is for. And the idea that hierarchies of competence don't exist is it's so cynical. It's such a pathologically cynical idea. And it's actually quite patently untrue because here's an interesting tidbit from the psychological literature. Let's say you want to determine what the best predictors are for lifetime success in a Western society. Well, what would you hope for? How about intelligence? There'd be a good one. Let's hope the smart people occupy more positions of complexity, right? Because they're smarter. Would you want it any other way? Okay, and then so, and that's great. The number one predictor of accomplishment in Western societies is intelligence. So that means the system works. What's the number two predictor? Conscientiousness. Well, what's that? It's a trait marker for hard work. So who, who gets ahead? Smart people who work hard. Now, that doesn't account for every bit of the difference between people in terms of their hierarchical structure because hierarchies aren't perfect, they're corrupt. People get to the top sometimes because they're psychopathic, although, believe me, a hell of a lot less than you think. Because a psychopath has to keep moving from place to place because once he reveals himself as deceitful and untrustworthy, he has to go find new suckers to fleece. So the idea that, you know, there's no distinction between a CEO and a psychopath, it's like, that's only made by someone who A, knows nothing about psychopaths, B, knows nothing about CEOs, and C, has something fundamental against the entire capitalist structure because it's simply not true. Corrupt, sometimes. Greedy, sometimes. Short-sighted, sometimes running companies that are doing their best to auger themselves into the ground. And so, you know, it's bad people running a dying organization. But generally speaking, it's not the case. Our hierarchies of competence are reasonably functional. And not only are they functional, they're valuable. We need to know who the competent people are and we need to reward them. And even more importantly, we need to tell young people Hey, there's some hierarchies of competence out there. Like, a thousand of them. Go be a plumber, man. But be a good one, you know? Be an honest one. Be, I had a plumber once, you know? It was the night, it was the night before we were putting drywall in our house. We were redoing a house and he had put in all the plastic piping, you know? And I was gonna test the joints. You know, they're supposed to be glued together with this pipe glue, right? And I said, I told him I had to test the joints. And he said, well, you don't have to test my joints. They never leak. And I thought, yeah. That's okay. How about if I test them? So I went up on the third floor and filled the pipes with water, capping them in the basement like you're supposed to. And like half an hour later, I had two inches of water in the basement. There were 30 leaking joints. And that was the night before the drywallers were supposed to show up. So, well, so he wasn't particularly competent. That's the point of that story. But even more so, he had put a bunch of the plastic pipe outside where the drywall would be. So it would have been sticking through the wall. So I spent a frenetic night, you know, sawing through plastic pipe and re-gluing joints so that my, well, so that the dry rollers could come in. What's the point? If you're gonna be a plumber, man, be a good plumber. Because otherwise all you do is go out there and cause trouble. We don't need people to cause more trouble. We need people to solve problems. You know, and so you can be a tradesman and you can be, you can make a lot of money as a tradesperson. It's a bloody, reliable, honorable, uh, forthright, productive way of making a living. And there is a hell of a lot of difference 
between a working man who knows what he's doing and one who doesn't, both in terms of skill and ethics, right? And you work with someone who knows what they're doing, it's a bloody pleasure. They tell you what they're gonna do, they tell you how much it will cost, they go and do it, it works, and you pay them. Perfect, everyone's happy. And that's what happens when you have genuine hierarchies of competence. And so you, you listen to these panderers of egalitarianism, egalitarianism and equity, and they fail to recognize completely that there are differences in rank between people. It's not such a terrible thing, man. Maybe you wouldn't be a great lawyer. Like, it's certainly possible. Most people aren't. But that doesn't mean there isn't something you could be great at. There's lots of hierarchies to attempt to climb, and if you fail in one, go try in another. 